Hello and welcome back to the channel. My name is Stylist, and I am so glad that you are here. Um, and today we have a super cool deck. Um, this is Calendar Control. Um, your win condition, and the name of course, being the Millennium Calendar. Whenever you untap one or more permanents during your untap step, put that many time counters on the Millennium Calendar. And then two and a tap, double the number of time counters on the Millennium Calendar. When there's a thousand or more, you sacrifice it, and each opponent loses a thousand life. That's a very cool card. It's playable on one. It's an artifact, so it's hard to deal with. There's a few things that deal with it. Most decks don't run things like that, especially with a card like Get Lost coming in uh, to the game now, into standard now. Um, enchantments are a little bit easier to deal with too, um, but uh, artifacts are not. So I think that's super cool and and is a fantastic uh, win condition. Um, so... Um, other than that, it's just a it's just an Esper control shell. I mean, it's just got a lot of control stuff having to do with Esper. The uh, the the go for the throat, the cut downs, make disappears, everything you know and love. And then memory deluge to find to find ways to to stay in the game, or on uh, the off chance you need to find a calendar to find it and get it down. So that's the uh, that's the deck. I'm extremely excited to play it. I love Esper. I love Esper decks. Uh, way back when, Esper Doom was hands down my favorite deck. It's, in fact, if I come to decks, ignore all the mess. Uh, nice try, Doomer. Uh, one of my favorite decks for sure. Uh, I don't ever play it anymore because the Stork's kind of yikes, but I love Esper. I love Esper. I love Esper Doom, and I'm kind of excited for this for this calendar control deck. So, uh, so yeah, that's the deck. Let's get into these games. All right, first game ever with calendar control. I am just so excited. Holy. I accidentally queued Rakdos. Are you kidding? <coughs> okay. Alright. So, ignore, ignore. Or do we leave it in the video? It's kind of a funny... It's kind of a funny situation we've got here. Let's see if we win or lose first. It's mono red. It's mono red. That's a good draw. Oh lord, I forgot to change the deck. Oh, I'm an idiot. Elden right off the rip, baby. Yeah, well, we blocked that for sure, so. Oh, no, man. Uh, Dracosaur is great, but I'll be dead, so. A new card. It's a much better card. Um, damn. I have a- this is a hard decision. Oh, no, I have the- I have the token. So now I think- I think I use the token to get the vents down. And then I can go like- like you. Bam. Oh, man. We'll see what he plays out. Something's in the yard anyway for the Trespasser, if that's what we do. If we decide to Liliana, that's fine too. Um, if he plays two... Plays two permanents next turn, it's pretty bad for me, I think. So what should I do here? Just make a, just make a blocker. It's hard for him to deal with if he wants to try to kill it. Yeah, I think we just make the blocker, gain the one life. <laughs> I think that's the move. And if he doesn't play two permanents, his Godric doesn't go over the top. And if he does, I probably can just kill the Swift Spear. Or he just doesn't attack with it. That's kind of fine. Let's see what those last two cards are, baby. Lightning Strike. Well, that's just miserable. What am I playing? Am I dead to that? He has no cards left. That's nine to the face right now. Does he get that forever? Okay, good. We're at six. That's a real. That's real. That's a good draw now. Let's get Shelly down. Um, no creatures in the yard, right? So attacking is not worth it for one life. I guess we just see what he can top deck. You got the sauce, man? That's pretty good. But it's not enough, and our Shelly outweighs that, and we've got a Dracosaur coming down. Getting a little out of control here. I think we chill and just let the Shelly gain. He's going to concede. We got Mono Red, and I fucked up. Alright, GG's. Guys, we have the right deck this time. The right deck, indeed. Alright, let's see here. Okay. We're on the play. I mean, sure, I guess. 
kind of slow, but we can just throw the calendar down and then try to get land, try to get to these sweepers before we're dead, right? Yeah, sure. I'm down for it, actually. Let's see. First game ever with the deck. Let's see if something like this is actually a keep. I, it seems kind of bad, to be honest, this hand, but I'm not too worried about it. Doomsday Device. I swear I've played this guy before. I swear I recognize this name. Let's see if you can take care of a, of an artifact, brother. I wonder if this deck becomes meta. I feel like it'll be super annoying. For Fiends, I wonder if he's something kind of similar here. <coughs> we need land here, for sure. It looks like he's some sort of big stuff. That's a good draw. Very good draw. So let's go. I think we run a Dissipate out here if we've got to. We still need another white. To... Nope. Okay. Okay, so that's also a good draw. So we will be playing the Wandering Emperor if he plays nothing, if he just wants to pass again. Because it still taps lands. Or we can just double this. If he's gonna do nothing, let's double that. Farewell, not a good draw. But we can hold up the Dissipate. We don't think he can get ahead of us, to be honest. We, do, we would like another land so we can do this and hold up Counterspell, but so far it's not burning us. He can't kill this. We might need to be careful soon, though. Uh, in case he can kill this. We know that he wants to just do stuff. Can he kill this? It's so bad if he can kill this. He has Esper. He could be running... Well, he's got Esper Colors, I should say. So he could be running Void Rend. Don't kill it. Please don't kill it. Oh, fuck. Oh, good. He's just discarding. I was like, I fucked up. Okay, so now maybe we'll run a Wandering Emperor out there. I guess. Just to tap lands, right? That's the only reason we would do it. Because we can't hold... Well, no. Let's chill. Let's chill. Let's chill. Because now we have enough for holding up Dissipate and... So Void Run's really the only thing that beats us here. This is fun. Riveting game. Riveting game. Memory Deluge. We're gonna have to discard. That's fine. Probably get rid of a Depop. Two. Two, three. Okay. Field of Ruin. Yep. I wonder if he's just holding the Void Run to kill us. At a certain point. Make disappear, that can go. I think. No, maybe we want to keep that. Sunfall? Sunfall can probably go here. <coughs> we have a lot more for some reason we need one. We can probably find one. Probably Discord Memory Deluge next. He's only got like four turns left or something. Quick math. If he's just holding the Void Run, that's going to be super sad. If it's anything else, though, we can counter it. The Sunfall. So he's Control 2. So I kind of like this. I always... Not always. Sometimes Control matchups are kind of annoying to play. They last forever. It's just whoever tries to make a play first and succeeds. And that feels bad sometimes, I think. Um, so I'm not the biggest fan of control versus control matchups. Well, not like blue-white, blue-white control type type stuff with counter spells and all that other stuff. Other control matchups are a little bit more fun. Um, okay, let's go next. We don't have to discard because we drew a land. Very good. He's going to Field of Ruin a tower. Very good. Okay. Grab that blue. Pass. So he loses next turn, right? Like, turn after this? Turn after this? Yeah, he has to kill this here. 
There's a void run myself. Too bad that doesn't stop a void run. Let's end. Wait, if we put this on the stack, do we just win? Oh. Did we fuck up? Thought we would be able to put that on the stack. He concedes. Okay. That was really quite boring, but I'm kind of glad I had that against... That could have just been a 20 minute annoying ass game where we both have board wipes that don't mean anything. So I'm kind of hyped about that. Alright, well GG's. Alright. No calendar off the rip. But we can probably find one. This will probably be acceptable. No cheap sweeper either, but a wandering emperor and a negate and a void rend. So, we'll keep. No black man either. It keeps getting worse. Alright, that's a pretty good draw. Let's go here. We'll go there. Same same song and dance here. You better didn't have calendar on one. Now we can try to counter it. So if we find one, we're gonna have to wait. Let's play tap land here. <coughs> it's definitely just a control deck that we're fighting here. I think we're fine with him having that. Counter whatever he tries to cast with it. That makes me think he plays legendary creatures though. Because shouldn't he just run Celestis if he's control without like tons of creatures? That makes that's what me that's what that's what I'm thinking. That's what I'm thinking. Um sure. Yeah, bunch of blues. Alright, let's end. This whole game is just about um getting a um Yeah, sure, it's yours. It's about getting a, um... Calendar down. Um... Do you think he runs counter spells and do we get him out now? Yeah, I think so. I think that's fine. I think he can counter this all day and I don't care. He's gonna pay for life, draw a card. Alright, so what are we thinking? Cut down? Go for the throat for this, for this little knight? <laughs> He's not hesitating, man. He's sending. I dig it. Oh, that's a good draw. When he finally takes care of business on this guy. Guards, to me. Let's see, let's see. He's Demir, he's no white. Yeah, we're gonna let you take that, I think. I think it doesn't matter, right? It's not worth countering. Go for it. Go for it, go for it. We're just trying to buy time for the calendar, man. Depop's not a good draw here. It's gonna get played as land. We'll plus you. Submit zero. Show them how we and end. Our Where's our calendars at, man? 13 cards in. No calendar. If we find a memory deluge, we probably could find the calendar too, though. So that's acceptable. Draw three cards and put two cards from your hand on top of your library. Don't you think we're done? Um, what is he holding up here? Enough? That I can't counter, right? He can pay for make disappear. So that's fine. I guess I don't know what he could have, but I don't think I'm too worried about it. <coughs> do we just see if he thinks it's gonna die right away? Or do we just wait a little bit? I think we wait and see if he taps. And then we can exile it. Try to exile it. Yeah, let's do that. Duress. We might as well just make disappear it. We don't really want that card anyway. We literally don't care about this card. <laughs> <coughs> cut down he does still have two mana we can't forget that um yeah let's go like this okay perfect so we've got the emperor up with the negate we'll see if that's enough i see 
Does he, have, he just doesn't have something that hurts me that bad. That's fine. What is it? Breach the multiverse, maybe? So he did want it dead. Man, we'd be close to winning if we had our calendar. Even a game like this. Calendar would have us pretty close here. So that's a breach of the multiverse. Uh, he's just trying to find another one of those, right? So I guess we see if he does find another one of those. There's a memory deluge. Did we mill a... Didn't mill a calendar. That's crazy. Oh, he's going again. We don't really have a choice here. What is it? That was the land good? How many of those do you think he runs? That's gonna be three in the yard, right? Oh no, it's already in the yard. Two? Two down? I was gonna say, he is down to 11 life. Make disappear, not great. Let's go like this, so that we have something to sack to the make disappear, maybe. Although we think that's irrelevant at this point. Let's end turn. I guess what's our best bet here? If he plays another one? Alright, well that's fine. Gives him a scry. I think we memory deluge here. He lets us. Or do we just go for the win? No, oh, let's memory deluge. If he has a counter, he might want to counter it. Wow. It's like we don't it's like we don't have a calendar. Negate's too good not to take. And Void Run might be good here too. Memory Deluge lets us find calendar, but at that point I don't know if that's how we win, to be honest. His deck's too explosive and uh well, there's a calendar. Let's get it down, I guess. To apply that kind of pressure. Um, and then we'll swing. See what he does. And then we can Wandering Emperor. <coughs> yep. This negate could be pretty, pretty handy. To be honest. Okay, so he's gonna get his card back. Yep, fine. Oh no, that's gonna be annoying. One sec. That annoying noise is about to go away. Don't worry. Alright, now his turn can finally start. Go for the throat. One, two, three, four, five. Alright, I have a plan here. Let's see if it works. Let's see if it works. Oh, is he not gonna play that card out? Why is that still on? Bro, I swear I shut it off. This is fine. I'm really confused. I turned it off. It's magic. Huh. Just underwhelmed. That's pissing me off a little bit. May your blade strike. A bad draw. Now it shut off. Interesting. Watch for intruders. 
Void Run's good here, though. Let him have it. Once his triggers proc, then we kill it. Void Run can't be countered. What is it? What is it? What is it? We have a negate, anyway. Wow. Crazy. I'm not going to really have that unless it's Wandering Emperor, but I think we counter anyway here, or try to. Because he's at six with two cards. What we don't want to do is give him a board presence. We will make disappear prob- oh no. Actually, yeah, we will. We'll make him pay four. He's going to just let it resolve. What else does he have here? He does get to kind of pick his next draws. He's going to concede. Wow. That's the moment my furnace came on. That's a really good, like, that was a fun game. Oh yeah, we ranked up after that last one. Diamond uh, 3 now. Not bad. Not bad, we're moving up in the world. We're moving up in the world. And we're keeping that last one regardless of the furnace situation. It did it wasn't so bad. When it kicked down kinda, of, but then it kinda of tuned out. The mic did a good job. I did, I bought a new mic like a few days ago. I didn't like mine. Um we're on the play. Interaction. Dissipates can be good. Try to keep our, our calendar alive if we find one. Let's keep. Let's keep. We've got all of our colors as well, at least one of. As well as double blue, so that is a keep. Lockblade blade forty-five. What you got for me, man? Yep, sure. All right, let's do this. A little bit of Golgari action. Okay. All right. I don't think I'm supposed to just Edict the first thing he plays. Yeah, I'm definitely not supposed to Edict that. I'm supposed to wait and then Wandering Emperor that. Do we want to hold up Counterspell here? Maybe we do. And take one damage at some point for Wandering Emperor. I was going to do that because it's tapped, gets it out of the way, plus gives us the un unpainful white for the Emperor, but... I think holding up a Dissipate here is good for his turn 3. I'm not sure what he has, but it's probably going to be harmful. So we could literally just get rid of that forever. And I think that's what we do. And I'm not kidding. It's a super annoying card. Exile it. He'll swing for 3. And we'll Wandering Emperor exile the underdog. He just concedes. That's just the game from that. You saw it here first. Like... I mean, give me the rating, man. GG's. Alright, one more solid game here. With J Magic P. Let's get this. Let's see if we can rank up even further into Diamond 3 here. Try to get towards Diamond 2, yeah? That's good stuff. Alright, we are on the... Draw. Um, I like the hand fine. Make Disappear might be bad. I'll just try to... I'll just try to get it out of my hand early. On something, right? And then... That, that should be acceptable. <laughs> Let's keep. Play tap land on one. Even if he gives us something to cut down, I don't think it'll be worth it. Maybe, actually. Let's see if he gives us a creature. Because then we can hold up cut down for turn. It is pain, though. But does it really... Is it really... What you, this is what I was thinking, is if it's mono red. Okay, good. He didn't give us... Cut down probably will miss the Kumano target anyway. So let's just get this over with. On the draw against Mono Red. That's tough. Oh, nice. So what do we do here? Gosh, we already feel so so behind. We have no sweeper. See, we, what we would love to do is just cut down that Swift Spear right now. 
I think that he's gonna run us over and I don't know the right play here and like the turn kind of like one through four plays against mono red or where the game is won or lost to be honest if you play him right or if you play him wrong do I hold up counter spell like if he gets a Godric down is it game over and I just take two four five here I think maybe I think it's just hold up uh, we can do everything at instant speed anyway we don't need to do anything on his turn or on our turn we can do it all on his turn I mean so if he just swings here we can see and that's what I was thinking man so I think we just go ahead and counter this and take our take our beating I guess it make disappear out of our hand, which at a certain point might not actually catch anything, so that's not a good draw. Um I think we cut down the Swift Spear while we can. And we hold up, make disappear, and go for the throat, right? <coughs> he might have another Godric. Or a Squee or something. That Godric was going to be devastating. We definitely needed to make sure we had something for that. I kind of hope he plays another Godric or something and I can just counter it. He's taking his time. I don't blame him. Again, his play here and my next play are kind of like the most important in the game. So we're going to let that happen. If he puts it on the chick, we'll kill the chick. He's going to create a treasure token. He's playing around Make Disappear at this point. But he only has one card. He's going to run it out. So, that's easy. That's an easy decision here. Alright. We take four. Down to seven. Faithful Mending, good draw. Good draw. Well, let's see what he has here. If he just swings, we have to Faithful Mending before so that we get the life and he can't put something on the stack over the life. I lost a game like that once somehow. It was not fun. Alright, Mr. Mono Red. What you got? I don't hate our position. I don't love our life total though. Our position's good, our life total is bad. Which is, it's Mono Red. That's what happens. Opponent hitting the rope a little bit on this decision. An important one. If it's another Godric, game is hard. So he's going to full swing. Full Faithful Mending here now. See what we find. Couple of land. I don't think we need land at all. I think both lands go. Alright. Do this. I'm really sure that's a Monstrous Rage. I was thinking we can kill the flyer, because if we get a blocker. <coughs> but if we get a blocker, it's from a Wandering Emperor anyway, and we could exile that. So let's go like this and see what his card is. What did he top deck? The scry is nice. And he left it on top. Could be worse, could be better. It's in a gate. I highly doubt that hit something here. Your turn, man. What did you leave on top? Monstrous Rage, right? So it's not a creature, probably, right? So we take this damage no matter what. The Lightning Strike. He wants us to tap out. So this is the situation I was talking about. If I Faithful Mending here, then he can Lightning Strike on top of it and kill me before I gain the life and I lose. And he knows it. So I, I kind of just have to take my turn here and hope I draw a land so that I can Faithful Mending plus negate. Ah, that's so bad. Well, we have one more turn. I guess. 
I mean, he could just draw a creature here and kill me. That's tricky, man. That that kind of stinks. I still don't think I was supposed to keep a land. I wasn't expecting to draw another Memory Deluge, though. Let's see what he top decks. It was a play with fire. It wasn't even a lightning strike. So I can just do this in response. Right? Five. I'm kind of in the same position, but at least I get this off. And then I... S oh, we're still top deck warring there. Yeah, let's do it. We need the cards anyway. Jesus. Well, you're gone and you're gone. He didn't scry to the top. That's good for us. Land. It's not a land. We lose. He did that way too fast. Man. Alright, mono red. Mono red, just too fast. We did not draw good at all, though. Like, fucking at all. Damn. Did you... Alright, we're back. Um, I like this deck a lot. I have my camera in the wrong spot for all those games. Because I'm extremely good at this. Very professional. I do it right every time. Now I fucked up. And I didn't realize my camera was in the wrong spot that whole time. So my apologies. It shouldn't be super annoying. But I did notice like it covers like the Millennium Calendar and the Planeswalkers and stuff. Which wasn't that many, but... So that's my apologies. Um, I'll try to not let that happen again. But otherwise, the gameplay um, well, was decent, I think. And the, and the games were good. And the deck is fun. Uh, so... Uh, I definitely, I definitely advise the deck. I think this deck is is really a cool deck. Uh, I I definitely recommend it. Um, I think this calendar could end up doing some pretty nasty things in a control shell, to be honest. So that's uh that's a cool card right there. That is a cool card, and it actually wins surprisingly quick. Um, or can win surprisingly quick, I should say. But either way, it's just a good win condition that just sits there and just bothers you know the the opponent the entire time. Uh, that's really cool. That's really cool, man. So, so yeah, I apologize for the camera, but otherwise the games were, were good. They were fun. I recommend the deck. Deck list will be in the description. And, uh, and thank you so much for watching. Um, please feel free to comment, like, subscribe. If you comment, your camera position sucks. I know, but you can still do it. I still would love it if you did that even. So, but anyways, so that's the, that's the deck. Those are the games. GG's and we'll see you in the next one.